welcome back to Hayes Kitchen. Now today, we're gonna to be doing one of my absolute favorites. We're gonna be doing a salmon steak, Thai infused, in a paper bag with crunchy mixed vegetables. This is perfect for all you fish eaters out there. However, if you are a meat eater and you wanna swap it out for anything, change the fish for a chicken breast, cook it for five more minutes longer, and it will be just as good. So the ingredients we need are? Right, everything you see here is organic. So we've got asparagus, spinach, coconut milk for the base. We've got some courgette or zucchini, I think you call it in the States. Um, spring onion just to dress the plate, some carrots, lemon and lime for a bit of zest, some cashew nuts just to give a bit of texture over the top. If you're not allergic, obviously leave those out. Um, a couple of fiery chilies. They're about medium actually, like a Thai chili. You can use whichever you want, depending on what your heat strength is like. Um, a couple of salmon fillets. I'm using salmon, but you can use sea bass or sea bream. Any of those would be perfect, or indeed your chicken breast. Uh, some baby corn, sugar snap peas, some lemongrass paste or whole lemongrass and some Thai green curry paste. Now this is all going to be served up in a paper bag, so we're going to start cutting the paper. For this we're going to need some parchment paper or baking paper. You can use tin foil if you like, it's up to you. Um, roll up a good piece of paper, about that big. Cut a section off. And then do another one, just over the top for the same length. Now with a little trick for this, I tend to get a little bit of butter. Put some butter on a brush or the back of a spoon, brush it around the edges and stick it together like a piece of glue. Turn your oven up to 240 to 250 Celsius. I love how simple this part of the recipe is. All you've got to do is get your sugar snap peas, your baby sweet corn, your salmon, your lemongrass and your chilli peppers and lay it out on the paper. Now with your lemon, just cut that in half and drizzle that straight over the top of the salmon and the same with your lime. Cut that in half. Now with the lime, that can just rest straight on top of the fish, leave it in the paper, and that will carry on infusing the fish. Next up, grab yourself your zucchini or your courgette, whichever you like to call it. Chop this up nice and thinly, and you're gonna lay that on top of the rest of the vegetables. Grab yourself the carrots, do exactly the same. It's nice and thinly sliced, chock it in. Now with the asparagus, just snap them. They'll always snap at the most tender point. Again, lay them in with the veg, grab a big handful of spinach and a big dollop of the green curry sauce on top. Brush butter all the way around the outside of the paper. You can use a brush or you can use the back of a spoon, whichever is your preference. Um, do all four sides and then you're gonna fold this over the top and then you're gonna basically make a small um, parcel. Now leave yourself a gap and pour in your coconut milk and seal the rest up. Now I love the idea of these little paper parcels. Um, I first saw these in Bondi Beach going back three or four years ago. I thought what a fantastic idea that a restaurant and the head chef can come up with a signature dish that just uses little paper bags. Hardly any washing up. Um, you can create loads of different flavours and you can prepare like 30 to 40 at a time. Um, have a mess about with these. Try them with different shrimps and different fishes um, and different varieties of vegetables. Um, you can't go wrong and who doesn't love a meal with no washing up? Right, we're going to put that into the oven for about 20 minutes, about 250 Celsius, or pretty much as hot as your oven can go. And I'm going to put that just onto a tin tray as well. The whole bag, just give it a little shake. Get all those juices and coverings. Chuck it into the pan. Into the oven, and then we can just prep up our spring onions and cashew nuts. Right, so we've been cooking for 20 minutes. It's time to open the oven and start serving up. As you can see, the bag's puffed up like anything. This bag is gonna be very, very hot. So grab a corner and make sure it doesn't rip or tear and chuck it straight into a large bowl. Now you can rip open your bag and let all the steam out, or if you wanna do this on an individual basis, it's a great one to actually serve in a whole bag so the actual person can just rip it open and start enjoying. Now to finish this off, it's up to you, but I like to put a little bit of spring onion on top, um, some crushed nuts and some coriander. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like coriander, it's supposed to be the devil's herb. I absolutely love it and it gives it that extra Thai sort of fragrant as well. Um, now grab yourself a bowl and start serving this one up. 
How simple is that? 20 minutes and we've got ourselves a perfect fresh fish dinner with loads of lovely vegetables. Now I'm starving hungry so I'm going to go and eat but please leave suggestions below as you did last week. I'll try and get back to you as many as possible. If I don't please bear with me I will get back to you okay. I'm going to go and eat. Cheers then. Bye bye.